But the game's supposed to be in the afternoon hours yesterday, underway in the second inning. He had just one hit in nine trips, and you can make it 10 as he swings conversation at the head of the class. Here's the 2 1 into center. Sunshine reflecting off the shades of one of a couple of them over the weekend in a starting role. Something that has become a, a very familiar conversation. Grounded. Third baseman will have a chance to go around the horn with it and will. A 5 4 3 double play on the ground ball off the bat of Casey. 0 2. High and deep to right. And that is going to sail on into the bullpen for a Harrison Dittowick home run. Well, Dittowick becoming Virginia's early team leader in home. Ference, a bouncer up the middle. Charging the shortstop, tried to barehand it. May have been the only play for Edwards. And a throw over in behind Ference, and they're going to pick off the runner to close Virginia's portion of the second inning. But with one. Eight. And Florida native sends this in the air. Right fielder Saki over, who also is four for ten on the year. In which he walked one. Struck out one. It looked as if he had this inning squared away until that works its way through and into right field. And coasting down to second base is Holman. And he misses high and tight with a 3-1. Two are aboard with two down. And what looked like playing a combo of first and third base. It's this sky high left field side ranging over toward the line. And the right-hander takes over and delivers first pitch. Lying down toward third and a leaping stab from the third baseman, Lavari. Eric Becker, the, the nine-hole hitter. Stronger throw. This one's going to get away, and that's going to allow Becker down to second base. So a runner in scoring position for Griff O'Farrell now. Farrell was waiting on this and sends it in the air to center. Meyer drifts over and the left handed his grandfather Charles, followed by his dad Brian. And now Vincent, all occupying those colors. This sit down in the right field corner. How about this? Quickly in the AB of Anthony Stefan. He's first time awaiting the 2 2. And he sends it the same direction. That keeps hooking toward the corner, but there's going to be just enough room down there in foul territory. Free passes surrendered by McKay. Griff O'Farrell takes care of it for the first down. Edwards bends out of the way on a 3 2 pitch, and he is aboard. And again, watch the better return. Now the two and two thirds. Old Dominion threatening. And Waters sends this in the air. Right fielder Salki is there. Runner tags from second. O'Farrell will cut it off. They will be on the corners. As the second out of the inning, initiating the review. And out number three is going to come. Up. Triumphing over Old Dominion for the regional championship. And then after taking care of one lead and victory. Got about. Down the left field line, and that will knock up some chalk. He's coasting into second base. Another double for Henry Godbout, his fourth of the season. Drive home their third. Backhanded effort. Gets away momentarily from the first baseman, Boucher, but he gathers it up. And on a hang with him play, will secure one two to O'Farrell. Dribbler out in front of Davis, trying to shuffle that toward the plate. And a payoff pitch. Stefan into center that keeps sinking. And there to make the play is the center fielder Meyer. Sixth inning. 
One two, grounded up the middle and through. That's a base hit for Boucher. First hit for Boucher. And the three one is ball four. Jackson to Maverick Stallings. And he's able to retire. Jaxel out of the Virginia pin now delivers and Meyer lifts this into left. Stefan waits on it to come down. Puts the barrel on this. Going to be a long run for Salki, but the right fielder will track it. And the inning comes to us. Send a couple of flyouts to right field. This time goes the other way and lands this in left for his first hit of the day. It is the seventh base knock for UVA, who had multi-hit efforts in each of his first few games, looking for his first of the day. Just found it. Lands that solidly in between the fielders in right center. And you're inserted into the cleanup spot in the order and perform accordingly, as he has. This skips away. Coming home from third is Anderson. It is 4-0 Virginia. Hold upon. This is now 3-0 to Saki. You can make it a walk to Saki on four straight pitches. After Didowick retired, here's Ferentz. And that's going to elude the first baseman. Runners coming home. The throw will beat him there. And Casey Salki looked to be cut down at the plate. But in the end, the call is safe as Holman was unable to hang on to the. And Godbout on the 2 2 chops this middle infield. Trying for the tag for good measure was the second baseman Stallings. Lopsided as it seems all of a sudden on the scoreboard at 5 0. One time hit, Virginia could open it up. They will. That is dumped into left field. It is going to be a two RBI knock for the nine hole hitter, Eric Becker. They've all three scored. And after Didowick, who had made the most noise earlier today, was retired. Effective for Virginia in the opener as well. And Stefan gives this a charge. Deep center, reaching up near the wall. Was he able to hang on? And the answer is yes. How about this play by the Old Dominion has left nine today. And he lines this right at Griffo Farrell. Here's the one two to Lavari. And he is sat down on strikes. You for the Monarchs. And he will be aboard for the first time. Solidly through the left side. They did adjustment. And everything going according to plan on the scoreboard today as well. And so good against non conference foes in the regular season the last few years. Or actually was looking to strike in the early stages. This is going to require a big time spin from the third baseman, and he sets himself in time. Walks along the way to boot. And he just added to those totals as that is going to ride the rails down the third base line. Another RBI and another extra base knock for Harrison Didowick as Ford comes home to touch the plate. It is 8 0 for Indiana. Here when it comes to two baggers. As 0-2, line right back up the box. That is off Schumann, comes toward the catcher wisely because he was lined up that direction. And a called strike three, taking care of Meyer. He is retired in a tournament title after departing for Conference USA. Back home to some degree there. And this may cover that. Down to third, off balance toss across the diamond from Luke Hansen, and that's the ball game. Chase Hungate, a 1-2-3 ninth inning, and it is.